everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have a new video for you and as you can see, I am not in my normal settings or kind of like something that you're used to seeing me in. I am in Rome, Italy. Yeah. And I am alone. This is my first solo trip. So I decided to pull out my camera and take you all along with me. So it's my second day I'm here and I'm going to take you along with me. I'll tell you a bit of information on how my first day went. I didn't really take out my camera because I was trying to feel out the area and see my settings. But I will let you know when I come back to the hotel and tell you all more about how I felt on my first day. So it's the end of day two of my solo trip in Italy and today I'm ending on a much more better note compared to yesterday. Yesterday I arrived and came to the station that I was at, like staying at which is I think called Termini I believe. Uh, it's a local station here, well a really big station here in um, Rome and it's where you can get like the train from the airport and I just came here and my airport was my hotel was supposed to be five minutes away from actual from the actual station and walking to my hotel I was just like you know kind of like in a culture shock because there was just so many people again on the streets and like poor and needy and hungry and just being alone for my first time like on a trip trip I felt a bit like overwhelmed but I must say today was much more better day. Yes, then I didn't make no vlog, but I kind of like, I'm a bit sorry I didn't because I would have actually shown you my true emotions of yesterday. Because of course on YouTube, the only thing you see is the actual good and happy and smiley part of everything. But when I arrived yesterday, like I was a bit sad. So I arrived yesterday around like 10 into Italy and then I came to the hotel like by 10, 30, 11, but my check-in into the hotel wasn't until two, so I had to leave my bag and then go. So I first came to the hotel, saw where it was, was super sad about that because it feels like so, you know, it's like a bit skeptical and it's only a three-star hotel. However, I am happy that I'm staying here because it's really nearby. So I came to the hotel, dropped my bags off. The lady at the reception gave me like a map of Italy and then showed me all the places to go. So the lady at reception gave me this map and I love to get these no matter where I go and no matter what I do like in another city because I love to save them because it shows like all the places that you went to or you wanted to go to and it's just a good souvenir I think just to have I really like these kind of things also whenever I use public transportation and I have the cards I just save them because I really really love that anyway so I got this lady at reception yesterday and then she circled all the good places I asked her where they were, just to make sure that I knew where we were, I had it on paper as well, and not only on my phone. And then I was like just so overwhelmed that I felt, oh my god, I have to do this all by myself. It's just too much. I, I felt like this also before I left Holland. Like I felt really sad and really like nervous because it's my first time doing it all alone and it was just super sad. So I came, I signed in, left my baggage and then I sat down for a while and almost cried like twice or I did kind of cry and then stop the tears. I was just super emotional yesterday. Oh my god, I should have actually filmed it. So then she gave me the paper and she showed me like a high street where uh, there's all the shops and everything and I thought, okay, like how do I get there? And then she told me, so then I was like, I sat down for a while and then I was just thinking like, oh my god, I have to just do it. So 
So what I did is I left here, I left a mini, and then I went to Flamin Flaminio? Flaminio Station and then I walked down a bit. Uh, it was just a bit overwhelming. The weather was really gloomy and really like rainy. So I don't know if that added on top of it. Like I walked there and I was just like feeling a bit lost. I didn't have no appetite. Like I got back to the station and I came back home and I just couldn't almost stop crying. Like I walked into the hotel and I felt so sad for myself. Thinking like, oh, I have no friends. It's so sad to travel alone, blah, blah, blah. But now today I feel happy. Like. I'm happy I did this. This is my second day in Rome and I just went out by the station that I'm staying close to. They have the bus tours and a bunch of people selling them. So I decided to like try one and it was the best decision I've made here so far. I got where I went with the big bus, Rome, this one. It is amazing because I literally got on at uh, Termini. I went to the Colosseum, even though my airpiece I had wasn't working so well or the bus wasn't working. So we drove from there and then we went to the Colosseum. And then after the Colosseum, I went to the Vatican City, which took forever, but totally worth it. Like because of going to the Vatican City, I feel how I feel. Like I'm so happy and I'm so appreciative that I did this and I got out of my little bubble and also like after feeling and cry like crying literally yesterday. I was going to record it, you know, but I said no. Which I should have just done it. But anyway, we're talking about the first day. Let's talk about today. So I went to the Colosseum, I felt super happy to be there, just think like wow, I've seen this, I took a few pictures, I asked a few people that were around to take pictures for me. They did it and then I was like, yay, let's go to the Colosseum. Beautiful. Woo -hoo -hoo. Then let's go to the Vatican City. Vatican City is so worth it. Oh my god, it was really nice. And I did go to the top. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I walked all those stairs. Be ready. I had on heels today, like a boot, like a heel boot, but be ready to walk or be able to be ready to be like uncomfortable or standing in the line. I stood in the line almost two hours and today and the line that I was standing in was a good line. So be prepared to stand in line for like two to three or four hours. Uh, so at the Vatican uh, City, I literally spent like let's say two, two, no, three hours and a half almost, I think now. Yeah, it was really long. But the line was long and also walking up all of those stairs was crazy. So I stood in the line for free and walking into the Vatican City and then walking I think it was to your right and then there was a sign to like go upstairs or whatever and to like see stuff and I was like sure let's just I stood in line for two hours or almost two hours anyway so why not just pay eight euros to go upstairs right you can pay ten euros to go up, to go up with the elevator but I just paid eight I just paid eight I believe it was eight I paid eight euros went to the stairs was dying like if you don't have me on Instagram, you can still check my history. I do have a highlight of my city trip to Rome, so you can check that out. So I would really say the Vatican City is super amazing to go to and I would definitely recommend it. Um, just be ready to wait and standing in long lines, have like a little snack. Don't need to go to the toilet because if you do, you're screwed. And then after that today, what I did was went to um, how do you say it? The Trevi Fountain. And I quickly went to a place that was recommended by my friend there to eat at. If you want to know what that was, just let me know in a comment below and I will share it with you, of course. And I had some ice cream and now I'm back in the hotel. So like, my whole day consisted of just the Colosseum and the Vatican City. So I'm really happy I got the bus and I got this little ticket that is for valid for two days from the big B bus or the bug big bus, I don't know, like I just got it from them. <laughs> this company. Of course you've seen it if you travel before anywhere in Europe. They almost have this bus service in every city. And I only paid 35 euros for two days, which is amazing. Uh yeah, so this is just me closing off my second day in Italy. Tomorrow is my third, and I'll be back to share with you what adventures and what or how in general my day went. I'll see you soon.
Today is day three. Finished in Rome and today I also had an amazing day out just sightseeing and walking around and I just had an amazing day in general. I'm so happy now that I'm coming at the ending of my like kind of solo trip. I'm super happy that I did it and I am no longer sad and so like full of sorrow but I am super happy and I'm contented that I actually went through this. I thought it would be good for me to come on and show it to you what I did today and what I got because I bought some things while I was here. Not a lot of course. I was planning to buy nothing actually but I couldn't resist myself. <laughs> so today again I went on the big bus tour and uh, yeah this is their route of Italy. It seems quite overwhelming and a lot but it's not that at all. It's super easy to understand and yeah. So what I did is I got on the bus again at Termini. Um, because I'm staying like almost four minutes away from them and then I went around with the bus and it was a bit cold today so I was a bit chilly and off the bus uh, but I went around and I got off at the Termini Fountain what am I saying? the Trevi Fountain stop um, I got out there and I went to see it and oh my god I thought yesterday was busy because it was looking to be around that time where it was night time but that wasn't only it it's just like that busy all the time so if you want to go to Trevi Fountain I don't think you can go too early or too late because every time it will be packed of people I went to Trevi Fountain first and then I walked around a bit I went and found some ice cream that a friend recommended me to have so I had that ice cream that my friend recommended me to have and it is literally the best ice cream I've ever had if you want to know where it is I will leave all the places that I remember that I ate at in the description box down below so check that out so my camera is acting a bit strange but I want to show you what all I got so I'll just show you some kind of like um, keepsakes and souvenirs I got I always get for myself something cool from wherever I go because my house has gold detail inside of it so I actually searched and searched and searched and I found this and I feel so contented I found this little gold Colosseum and it's so cute because the Colosseum was the actual first stop that I got out at so I'm super duper 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 like happy that I found this after like so much searching. Uh, that's what it looks like, the Colosseum. I love this. Then I got a shot glass for my aunt because wherever I go, I always collect these little shot glasses for her and send them to her. Uh, I got this one of Rome and it has all the different kind of like historical points on it. Love this. Then I got from my grandfather yesterday at the Vatican City. I got him this little um, St. Michael uh, prayer and it says prayer for us and bless our home. So that's super nice to give to my grandfather to put like in his Bible. I really like that. And then I got this little magnet that I want to give to my grandmother to put on the fridge so they can remember my trip to Rome. But I also want to get a t-shirt tomorrow. Another, well, one t-shirt for my sister, one t-shirt for my uncle. And then I also want to get one more like maybe magnet thing for the fridge for another family member. Or maybe two I'm gonna get, yeah, I think two. Today of course I went to Zara and if you saw my Insta story, oh my god, I think I'm gonna put my Instagram name here. So you can just see, I went to Zara and I tried on so many different things because I had the time. Zara, this year's collection is amazing. And I'm already thinking for my next vacation. It won't be a solo trip, but it will be an amazing trip because I can already feel it. It's going to be in me, so if you want to see a vlog on that, let me know. And yeah, I think I'll do it. But I, I think I'll already do it, so whatever. I got this trouser. It is a flare, and of course, you know, flares are super in right now. It has that African print. Zada has this new collection for uh, like with African prints and stuff, and I want everything from that collection. And then I also got this t shirt that says Feeling Good About Yourself at Zara. It looks like that kind of high end branded kind of t shirt was super nice. The t shirt was $9.95 and the pantalon was $25.95. And then at the train station I'm staying by, I just ran into a Victoria's Secret and thought, why not treat yourself to something small that you can actually carry in your hand luggage? So I got this, this little set. I also forgot to mention something funny that happened today while I was out in Rome exploring. I tried on some clothes at Zara and when I was finished, I left and I was walking away. 
And then I did like a quick check of like, you know, phone, wallet, camera, have all the important stuff, good to go. Kept on walking and I was like, oh my ticket for the bus, because I have this bus ticket or this bus pass for the, for, for the two days. And then I was like, where is it? Couldn't find it in my pocket, I put it all the time and I was like, fuck, I lost it. I literally thought I lost the ticket. It was, well, I did lose it. Not thought I lost it. I did lose it. I didn't have it in my pocket. And I was like, shit. Do I just walk away and just forget the ticket? Or do I turn back and try to see if I can find it at Zara? So I was like, yes. I will turn back, walk all, walk all the way to Zara, go to the fitting rooms and see if I can find it. Went to the fitting rooms. Didn't know which room I was in exactly, so I tried one room, or I told the girl first, and she's like, yeah, yeah, fine, when they come, I'll just go in and check. So I checked one room, and then it's like, no, and then I checked the next, and it was there, oh my god, the paper was there, like, if you see the paper, I'll just show you. This is how it looks, like, it looks like it is of no importance, but this was my ticket to go back home. I was so happy when I found it, so that's why I felt like, oh, I have luck in Rome. I'm so happy that I found it. <laughs> Good things do happen. So, I was just getting ready to leave my hotel room, but I remember that I don't think I actually showed you where I'm staying, just so you can get an idea of like the room that I stood in in Italy. And I think it's also kind of like quite an eye opener for my American and, you know, not European followers and viewers. So I'll first start by the door. So starting, this is the door, and if I just do a turn around, you get the toilet and then the bed. And then here you have the toilet. And me, hi. Here you have a toilet, a shower and tub, and another thingy. I haven't used it because this hotel is a bit dated, as you can see here but it's quite European and I did not use this. I just used this, of course. <laughs> then the sink, focus, focus, yes, the sink. Yeah, so if we come out, you have then the bedroom and this hotel has a team of orange, yellow and green and I got the orange room, I guess you can call it. This is my bed. Don't mind all the sheets, just put them all on one side so I can just like organize my bag. It's super small, but if you live in Europe, you will get it. But if you live in the States, this looks like what your daughter or sir might be laying on. Yes, super small. Oh well. Here, and I must say this is not your five-star Hilton Inn or NH Hotel. It is your three-star, you know, around the corner and the building kind of thing. Then you have just a little desk and what looks like a computer, but it's just a screen well what looks like a monitor which is the TV then of course you need a little thing to like put your suitcase on or luggage here where you can hang your coats in and I'm just going to just quickly show you the view of outside this is the view of my room from upstairs and this is downstairs Busy day today. It's Friday. And on that side, the sun is shining. La 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 la. Pretty, right? Pretty, pretty. Nice little European balcony. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that is it. Oops, how do we close this? Yeah, so. Wait. So this is my little hotel room that I had. Focus. Yeah, this is my little hotel room. Yep, yep, who's my stream yet? So, I, I hope you kind of enjoyed seeing some sights around. I'm still going to go now and I want to go now check out pay my taxes for my stay in Italy and then go and walk around. I think I want to just leave my bag at the hotel and then go have a walk around quickly in the area maybe. Uh, yeah, because I was thinking to go to the airport side and just walk around there but the guy at the Bali, at the reception, 
so that it's not like a wow area so i'm just going to leave this area just just stay in this area and go have a quick walk around and since i can leave my bag here i'll just leave my luggage here 